Hello there, I am author Scott Sigler, and welcome back to super important movie reviews. Although today, we're not even reviewing a super important movie, we are reviewing a super important book. This is Rob Reed's Year Zero, which just came out today. If you are a fan of science fiction and humor and modern cultural commentary and or music, you will probably get a giant kick out of this book. The plot is super cool. It reports that there are millions of sentient species throughout the galaxy, millions of cultures, and all of these cultures are pretty good at doing one or two things better than anyone else does them. What are the things that humanity does, you ask? I will tell you. Besides killing each other, at which we're the best, we are really, really good at making music. So good, in fact, that our music is loved all across the universe. It is copied, it is emailed, it is sent back and forth, people are ripping it, they love it. We are the absolute best at this. Now, the reason that these other cultures haven't contacted us yet is because as a species, we're not quite ready to join the group. Go back to what I mentioned before about being really good at killing each other. They don't want that poison to spread throughout the galaxy, but they will listen to our music. Here's where the problem comes in. To make all of these different civilizations live and work together, they have very strict interpretations of the laws of the individual planets. When it is discovered, our copyright laws mean they are in copyright infringement of all these trillions and trillions of songs that they have listened to. The fines alone would take more money than exists in the universe to pay off. So all of a sudden, if they're going to obey the law, the only way to not go bankrupt and put everyone into a permanent depression is to destroy the planet Earth and remove that debt from existence. So a couple of aliens come down to Earth. They wind up talking to a copyright lawyer named Nick Carter. No relation to the guy from the music group. And Nick goes on some wacky adventures with a bunch of misunderstandings, getting to know these different civilizations and trying to figure out how he can stop the Earth from being vaporized. An admirable goal, Nick. An admirable goal. Again, Rob Reed, it's out in hardcover, it's out in ebook, it's from Ballantine Books and Del Rey. You look at the cover, it's kind of cool. Little Napster logo there with an alien head and earphones. Can't go wrong with that. So I think if you like Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, you'll get a really big kick out of this book. However, there's been a lot of comparisons made between the two books and a lot of people online being upset that it's not just like Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Well, it's not. They're very different books. But if you loved Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy for its humor, its wacky, offbeat approach to aliens and alien culture, then I think you're probably going to get a big kick out of this. I also had a chance to meet Rob Reed. He is a great guy. He worked really hard and wrote a great book. I think you'll enjoy it. Pick up a copy of Year Zero and see if it does it for you. I've got links down there in the bottom. You can just click on that, take you right to Amazon, pick up the book. Talk to you all real soon, and very soon I'll actually be back to reviewing movies, which is nice. Uh -huh.